So let's meet some retirees who are planning to live in the Philippines. The first retiree is Pete. Pete is currently 55 and is looking to retire in five years time. He lives a very comfortable life on a low amount of money and plans to live in a small apartment in Davao City when he reaches the age of 60. Pete currently has around 50,000 US dollars in his pension. He knows that the life expectancy of men is around 75 years of age, so he's decided to budget to 80 years. Pete calculates that he would only need to spend $700 a month but decides to be careful and add an extra $100 on top for emergencies. From the time when Pete retires all the way to when he reaches 80 years of age, he will need $192,000 US dollars. This is a difference of $142,000. Therefore, from today, Pete will need to save around $2,367 a month for the next five years to make up this difference. Next, we have Steve. Steve is looking to retire in the Philippines as soon as possible. He is 60 years of age currently and has a pension fund of 250,000 US dollars. He plans to live in Cebu and wants to enjoy his retirement to the fullest. He's not a big extrovert, but he does enjoy living comfortably and wants to be able to do many different things. Steve calculates that for his lifestyle, he would spend around $1,200 a month. Similar to Pete, Steve knows that the life expectancy of men is around 75 years of age, so he will budget 80 years. From the time that Steve retires, which will be as soon as possible, all the way to when he reaches 80 years, he will need $288,000. This is a difference of $38,000. Lastly, we have Tony. Tony is a pretty smart guy in his early 70s, but Tony enjoys the hustle and bustle of a city, so therefore he wishes to live in metropolitan Manila. Tony has found out that his living expenses will be a total of around $1,600 a month. He has spent most of his life working hard, and over the last 10 years, Tony has been single. Therefore, before retiring to the Philippines, he decided to sell all his possessions and his $650,000 house to invest the capital and live off the interest. He decided to invest his cash into suitable assets, such as the Philippine Stock Exchange, bonds, and local real estate. Even at a basic rate of between 5 to 8% annually, he will have enough cash to live comfortably in the Philippines. So the question now turns back to you. How much money do you need to live in the Philippines and retire comfortably? If you are at the retirement age and you are similar to Pete, and can live comfortably on a low amount, then your living expenses should not exceed $10,000 a year. On the other hand, if you are looking to enjoy life fully, similar to Steve, then you will likely spend under $15,000 a year. But if you are planning to live in metropolitan Manila, like Tony, then the annual living expenses may reach up to $20,000 US dollars. Bear in mind, if you are new to the channel, these estimates will always differ depending on your own individual lifestyle. Over the last two days, I've spent my time calculating different scenarios to give you a more accurate estimation. Still, the difficulty is that there are multiple moving components on an individual level. For example, factors such as age, investment portfolio, living expenses, and pension taxation all come into play. But what's more is that these factors will differ depending on the country you are from and your pension value. Going back to our examples and investigating Steve's situation, we found that he needed to make the difference of $38,000 to reach his financial target, but he may not have needed to reach his pension target fully if he invested his capital wisely. Most companies who sell investments and pension products will allow you to see how many years your pension fund will last, even with regular withdrawals. I hope this has given you a slightly better understanding of the financial requirements to retire in the Philippines. However, if if you wish me to look into certain pension concepts or schemes, such as the 401k, the FIRE movement, etc., then please let me know in the comments and I will revisit this topic in more detail. 